All right, everybody, here we are on the 1.5 day one classwork. So make sure you check your heading at the top. It should look like what I've got on here. Yes, we skipped lesson four. That is okay. So today in the classwork, the goal is to do numbers one through four. One, two, three, and then four. Okay. So for all of these, what I want you to do first is I want you to just read all of the questions and underline the important things. So an example would be like a number one. Last summer at Camp Oki Fun Oki, the ratio of the number of boy campers to the number of girl campers was eight to seven. Okay, so we underline the important things. If there were a total, that's a key word, we want a circle total of 195 campers. How many boy campers were there? How many girl campers were there? All right, if I look at number two here, the student to faculty ratio at a small college is seven to three. So we're talking student to faculty and it's seven to three. The total, so we circle total, of students and faculty is 740. How many faculty members are at the college? How many students? And number three, when Carla looked out at the school parking lot, she noticed that for every two minivans, there were five cars. If there are 160 vehicles in the parking lot, how many of them are not minivans? Okay, this one is always the tricky ones. Vehicles tells you that it's the total, okay? Um, but we'll come back to that in a second. And then in number four, the ratio of red shirts to blue shirts is one to five. If there are 54 total shirts, how many blue shirts are there? So I want to go back to number three here. So we're talking about minivans and we're talking about cars. So it's important to have your labels. Minivans, cars, and then so two minivans. Sometimes it helps to like write the ratio. So two to five. So minivans gets two boxes. The cars would get five boxes and we're making sure that they touch and they line up. Very important. And so if there's 161 vehicles, remember a vehicle is any type of thing you can drive. So we would circle all of this and this whole thing would equal 161. We would divide that by the seven boxes. So that means it'd be 23 in each box. Okay. So now you have to remember to go back and answer the actual question. How many of them are not minivans, meaning how many are cars? The cars, you would count up the 23, you could add these up. So when you added them up, you would say there are 115 cars, okay? So I hope this helps you out. And then of course, if you have questions, you can always send me an email or come to office hours, and then you can check your answers with the answer key in the OneNote.